Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll try uh, being a copycat. We'll try using the strategies of the great Charlie Munger and we'll see how he picks up stock and we'll try to see what stock that comes to us uh, by the end of this video. So without further delay, let's get started with it. So all of us know that uh, Charlie Munger is a very famous investor. He is one of the closest associate of uh, the great Warren Buffett. And uh, you could see that uh, his way of picking stock or his way of uh, mastering the stock market is totally different. And uh, his wisdom will help us to pick up the right stocks and doing the right smart investments. So Munger is known for his uh, sharp intellect ideas and multidisciplinary approach. And he focuses on business in a very simple and subtle way. He doesn't believe in any big jargons or any big technical analysis or things like that. He has a very core subtle way of analyzing a business. In this video, we'll see the economics or the leadership ideas or the sustainability that he is like looking up for into companies. So instead of relying on complex financial models, what Munger does is uh, he does a clear analysis on a company and uh, does a decision making with those results. So uh, there are five key things which we need to see in this video. So we'll start with the very first explicit one, which is uh, uh, it's, it's a no brainer. It's a very simple thing. We will normally don't invest uh, in any company which is failing. So we always try to go for companies which are making profit. So in this screen, you would be able to see that uh, there is a few parameters over 5000 companies are traded in the market and upon which I'm trying to pass by a few criteria where I'm just going to cut down few of my companies with the first parameter which is going to be TTM. So I'm going to take the 12 month trailing average that's going to be like greater than zero. So that I'm first going to pass on as the parameter and you'll be able to see that uh, I'm uh, left out with almost about um, 3000 stocks. In that I'm going to again make the cash from the operation. The business has to sustain or run. So I'm going to make the cash from the operation is like greater than zero. So I'm like restricting that to over uh, 2000 stock. And when I'm going to make the debt to equity ratio is less than two and uh, I'm like still limiting up my stocks to 900 plus and when I'm trying to make my uh, fire ROE so the return on equity when I'm trying to make this value is like more than 12 percent that's the basic amount of uh, um, percentage growth which we expect for a company to do so uh, when we make the ROE greater than 12 percent we end up with almost about 800 stocks so from 5000 stocks I'm able to like consolidate into 800 stocks in this I'll be able to evaluate like different sectors or different caps I'll choose some from small caps some from large cap so by the end of the video we'll be able to see like other different methods which we can use and find out uh, what can like come up from these uh, 800 stocks and which would be the best one to go with then uh, the second th key thing which is like uh, important thing is going to be the numbers so numbers always speak a lot in your uh, finance market so in fact math is the foundation of investing so to make uh, informed decisions what you must do is like you need to look into the company's balance sheet their cash flow statements their p l statements and the key metrics on these also include it's going to be your uh, revenue growth so the first thing that you need to opt out is going to see the revenue growth of the company then the uh, company's uh, operating uh, profit margin so under what profit margin the company is like operating then the company's debt to equity ratio that's one of the key factors that you need to always observe and on the uh, ROC that's again a very important thing the first parameter was the ROE here it's going to be the ROC so all of these has to be like really positive for the company to show up greater results so these numbers will help you to find a company which is on the right track and which is like heading towards a successful path without any troubles for you in the future and if at all you happen to choose a stock and even if it falls down you can still hold the stock with the confidence in your mind that you're picking up the right stock and it is uh, a temporary uh, correction on that and it'll again start up to grow in the market then the third important thing that you need to do is uh, thinking laterally like thinking negative so uh, the there's a famous saying of him which he often says is like inward thinking so we always think what could be if this company is like going to up to be the, this much growth and you should always think of what could go wrong. So say for example, uh, uh, Amazon and Flipkart would have never thought that like their business e-commerce will slow down after the coming of uh, Zomato's Blinkit and Swiggy's Instamart. So their quick commerce came up and they were like taking up uh, uh, Flipkart as well as uh, Amazon's uh, delivery by a big swing. Now again, like other uh, uh, quick commerce of starting up, in fact, um, uh, Big Basket has started up their quick commerce and uh, 
Tata has started up their quick commerce. Everyone has like starting up their quick commerce just to compete with this because that's going to be the big booming industry now. So the same way you should always think of what could be the negative thing. So the inward thinking is a very important thing. So always think negative instead of always it's it's a good practice to always keep uh, the positive thing in mind but you should always think of uh, what could go wrong possibly and what could be the negative impact of it so that's one of the key thing of uh, um, charlie munger he always thinks of the negative uh, things like what could possibly go in this company or what could be the uh, thing which could happen wrong so what could be the competitors thing happening or how could be the uh, partners uh, or the regulatory concerns which could be applied onto this or uh, what could happen when the marketing is like goes down if government new rules and regulations are being impacted how it would trigger up the company's uh, growth in the sustenance in the future or in the long run so that's one of the key thing to observe then uh, the next thing which you need to observe is your uh, multiple success factors you should always think of the company's uh, uh, modus operandi in different structures so successful in investments of companies are rarely just driven by just one single factors so you should always think of companies into several areas like which could be like uh, the company should have a very strong management they should be coming up with a lot of innovative projects and they should have a good financial health so for example if you see a company uh, the recently there was a trillion dollar company which was in the market nvda so we all know of this so back 10 15 years back this company was just a normal chip manufacturing company but with the breakthrough in gpus and with the expansion of the lot of ai happening in the market the expansion of this uh, fast growing it companies and stuff they became the number one leaders in the gaming partnership also with major tech firms so these companies they started building up the world's fastest chip in fact they are building up a new chip which is blackwell which is the most fastest or the most powerful computing computer in the world so that's going to be the thing again which is going to be introduced by uh, nvda and they are going to be again like leading up in the market so each and every time they come up with a new product or with a new kind of an innovation in the market their stock price automatically skyrocket they automatically try to go up like 15 to 20% in the market so the autom automatically booms up the company and uh, it becomes a multi beggar over a period of time so if you have noticed uh, nvda's progress over the past few years you can see that in the last 3 4 years you could see over like 600% of growth in this company and that's the reason which why they become the recent trillion dollar company and that's not the only things there are a lot of other things which you need to take care of as well so the fifth and the most important thing is going to be your uh, um, besides your uh, investing you should also think of your uh, uh, knowledge upon multiple things say for example how this is going to be impacted when uh, there's going to be a different change in the psychology of the people how who are using this company or what is the economics behind it or how it is going to be impacted by the social or the uh, uh, ESM around us so to fully understand a business you need to apply multidisciplinary approach across any business and you should also take care of the network effects what would happen uh, say for example if it is a Zomato then you need to take care of like what would happen when uh, there are negative reviews from the customers or when the compute when the cus consumers are agitated or how is it going to be a behavioral uh, phenomenon like when Swiggy is going to give a uh, uh, delivery free when they're going to give a three months of off and they're going to promote an item how are we going to be like impacted by that how is going to be the network effect with new comers in the market how are we going to sustain this market so you need to come up with new ideas and concepts and technologies to be in the market and to compete with the demanding industry so all these approaches will all be taken into uh, consideration so these are all like five different approaches you could see that in charlie munger's mindset so that's his core principle and ideas and uh, as i said earlier the the chart of the indian stock market over 5000 commodity stocks we reduce them over to 800 so in this if you wanted to reduce them even further we could just go with a simple approach of uh, the high alpha low beta concept so in this i just pass a parameter as uh, high alpha companies so look up for companies which are with high alpha and look out for companies with the lowest beta so you will be able to limit up companies like very few will be like almost 10 to 15 companies you can choose these companies and then invest on these companies and keep your fingers crossed there's a very famous saying by charlie munger where he says that the big money is not in buying in big or in selling big the big money comes with uh, waiting big so that's the key factor of the stock market all you need to do is like uh, buy the right equity and then like wait for the time for you to come so everybody will be able to achieve in market and whenever being asked with charlie munger or with buffett in the market they have always explained that like uh, 
the patience is uh, the very important thing or patience is the key that has always favored them or made them billionaires. So the very important thing, as he said, like uh, embrace up with the market, just go with it. Whenever there's a dip in the market or correction in the market, try to average it and just try to hold them for a longer term. And with you, if you follow all these five parameters, you'll be able to just become the next millionaire, just like how Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett did. And if you like this video to be spread across your friends, do hit that uh, like button and uh, share this video with your friends. And I'll catch you up in the next one. Thanks for watching.